how to read a crowd with DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm gonna show you. Reading the crowd is one of the most important things to learn as a DJ, because you can learn all the tricks, all the scratching, all the mixing, all the beat matching, and all this stuff, but if you don't know how to read a crowd and play the right music for the people that are in front of you, you will never be a successful DJ. So, although it is the most important thing to learn, it's one of the most difficult things to learn because it requires you to leave your house, leave your bedroom, leave your basement, wherever you practice DJing, and go DJ in front of people. The only way to get experience on DJing in front of people is, well, to DJ in front of people. And if it's your first time or it's your first gig or your first time playing music as a DJ in front of other people, besides like your close family or friends, it could be very nerve wracking. I remember my first gig, I was, you know, I was all, my heart was pumping all fast. I was sweating and I was all nervous and it, it, it's very nerve wracking to DJ in front of people, but that's just something that you have to get, get over and you have to get out of your comfort zone and learn how to read the crowd and learn how people react to certain things that you do when you're a DJ. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of DJ Pro's features and then just some general DJ advice that'll help you guys read the crowd. So let's jump right into this. So there's gonna be different crowds for the different types of DJing that you're doing. So if you're doing a wedding, it's gonna be a different variety of people then let's say you're doing a, you're playing at the club in Miami at 10 p.m. Gonna be a different crowd, gonna be a different way to react to the people. So let me just give you an example and say that you're doing a wedding. Now at a wedding, there's gonna be a whole different age ranges of people from little kids that running around to grandma and grandpa. So you're gonna have to adjust what you're playing depending on the time when these people are on the dance floor. So in order to read the crowd, you're kind of going to have to be able to tell what's... It's hard to explain without it like sounding bad, but it, you have to be able to, by just looking at them, try to tell what type of music that they would be into. And then also be able to read their visual cues and their body language to see if you were right or wrong. So a good way that I got to practice this was I used to do Uber on the side. So when I would get the text message of the person that I was picking up or if I talked to them on the phone, I would I would try to using their picture and using how they texted and how they sounded on the phone. And then I would pick a Spotify playlist and I would play it when they got into the car. And uh, sometimes once I got good at it, people would be like, oh my God, how'd you know you, how like you're too young to know this. How'd you, how'd you know I like this one? And, and it was just by being able to read what the type of music is by the way they look. So that's a good way. Another good way is you could just ask you, you know, your coworkers or people, other people that you see, relatives, friends, and family, and stuff like that. Just be like, hmm, let me guess. You like Metallica, Limp Bizkit, and the Insane Clown Posse. And then see if you're right or wrong, and you could practice it that way. So when you're actually on the, in the DJ booth, DJing, and these people come on the dance floor, you have to be prepared. So now you read, you were able to see, okay, that's gr that's the um, the bride's mom and dad. They're about sixty years old. They probably went out and they probably like music from, let's say, the seventies or the eighties. You could go to your playlist. In my other videos, I taught you guys how to make how to make generations or basically just playlist by the decades so if we go over here dj pro has one of the best in program playlist and it makes it so easy to organize all this stuff because if you're prepared you're ready to go you soar on the dance floor all right 60 year old mom and dad and their friends are on the dance floor boom playlist decades and then you could go to the 90s you could, i have to update it and have like the 60s and 70s but just let's say you saw people that like the 90s. Then right there, you got the 90s. And then now, with DJ Pro, if you go over here to add a playlist, you could add a playlist folder. Then inside that, you could add another playlist folder. So just by going over here, the decades, 90s, now I have another option. Hmm, do they look like they like hip hop? Do they look like they like dance? Or do they look like they like techno? 
and then you guys could decide hmm, they look more like a dance dance type of people let's play that or they look more like a hip-hop type of people let's play that now you could add this song into a deck start djing with it for a little bit and then if you see that the people if you see that the people are reacting, going nuts, and they, they like it, it was a hit, and you want to play more, DJ Pro gives us this really cool match feature. So you go over here, and then we're going to go to... Hmm. Over here, where they made it kind of difficult to find because of the update, and people have been asking in the comments. So if you see this screen, this library screen that's over here, with these three options, if you click push this one which is the Q all the way on the right you have the option to go to history which is just the history of the songs that you played or you could go to match or you go to auto mix so we're going to go to match boom now right now it's giving us 20 songs that are from the title streaming service I'm pretty sure this only works if you have a streaming service logged in and I use title so this is showing me 20 songs that the artificial intelligence has decided would match with this type of song. So one song worked, and now we have other songs by the same artist, other songs with the same, uh, like it categorizes them if it's the same, the same genre, the same BPM, and then similar artists. So this is the Tribe Called Quest, and it's just recommending Most Death, it's recommending other Tribe Called Quest songs. So you could keep going like that, especially if it was something you weren't prepared for. If people go on the dance floor, you, you weren't sure what they'd like, and then you play one song, and then they start, you know, really reacting well to it, then you if you weren't prepared with the playlist, you could go to this match, and it'll keep giving you songs. So let's say we loaded this one in. I'm just doubling it so it's easier for you to, to see. So now we loaded this one, pass, passing me by, and then you press match and you reload it again and it gives us more songs. You could go all night like this, although I don't recommend using this as your only your only way to choose your songs. So definitely make a specific playlist for the event that you're doing. But don't forget that DJ Pro gives us this great match feature to help us when we're reading crowds. So another thing that that's going to help you is let's say you're playing at the bar. You're the DJ playing at the bar. You're the only DJ. You're playing there from like 5 to midnight or whenever it is. And you're the only DJ. So, And then there's a crowd there. You have to play music accordingly. You don't want to be playing music where people are going to dance the whole time. You want to do what um, other DJs would say, cycle the dance floor. So you want a certain certain people to be up dancing and then you want to kind of slow it down and rotate them out so they go to the bar and they go spend money and then the bar makes more money and that's why they want you there to DJ because they hired you to bring more people that would buy more drinks and overall increase the revenue. So that's why they're willing to pay you. So as a DJ at one of these events, what you have to do is rotate it out. Rotate it out. So find something that's working for a specific group and then as the... As it goes on, don't keep that specific group on the dance for the whole night. Kind of rotate it out and then see another type of people. Like Kind of like in high school there was clicks. This is kind of like it, how it would be at these bars and stuff. You'll get these type of people dancing and then you know they'll take a break, go to the restroom, go buy drinks. And then you cycle in the other people. And then this is a great way to get invited back as a DJ playing one of these events. Another thing you could do is remember that if there's girls on the dance floor, there'll probably be guys on the dance floor because groups of girls are more likely to dance with each other than groups of guys. So remember that and maybe start playing stuff more stuff towards the f females in the crowd, and then it would, and then the guys will go on, and then you get an overall much more crowded dance floor. So I hope this helped you guys with some ideas on how to read the crowd and have more fun and get booked for more gigs. If you found value in this video, give it a like. If you have any questions or comments about anything related to DJ Pro and DJing with the iPad, please give this video a like and ask a comment down below. I make DJ videos every day.